Let's remove the pistol grip from the M20, alright? We'll use a screwdriver to remove the screws. And if you look carefully inside, there's actually a, a Allen key screw as well as a, a screwdriver screw over there, alright? So all we have to do is just loosen it. And just remove the screws so this should give you an easy removal of the pistol grip all right we'll just put it aside so it doesn't come in the way okay next step is actually to remove the uh, screws from the M20 all right so the first part that we're going to remove is actually all these M4 uh, screws what you do is you take your allen key and just unscrew all of them. It's one, two, there's another one here, three, four. Five, six, seven. All these as well, you will need to loosen. All right, all these are uh, the screws that actually link or secure itself to the aluminum spine. Now if you have a power tool, it may be faster, but I'm just using the manual method uh, for this video sake. Okay. Next thing is to remove these two screws, or actually there should be three. Now some of you may actually have M3 screws here or M4 screws, it doesn't really matter. Or rather, the main idea is that we need to actually remove these screws, okay? So you just need to unscrew them. And another one here. Alright, so if you have done it correctly, the whole M20 should be able to just come into half. Alright, you should be able to remove it by gently opening it. So it's not loose enough. All right. And that's how it is. All right. This is one of the half of it. Okay. That is the inside half. All right. So just to take note, if you look at the two halves of the M20, let me just orientate you. All right. This is actually the uh, air chamber area. Now this is actually the ramrod that actually goes into the air chamber. We have these two linear guides here. The linear guides are very important. Do not accidentally uh, dislodge them from the uh, guide over here because if that is done it's pretty difficult for you to actually put it in again. All right? This is actually the aluminum profile that acts as the spine for your whole blaster. All right. This is your trigger mag release, your, or rather the mag release is here, your trigger is here. And if you can see over here, this is uh, actually supposed to be an M6 
nut and the M4 nut where it allows you to actually grip on uh, to your pistol grip. Behind here is actually the butt release and extension mechanism that you see here. Okay, so this is more or less how the M20 looks like inside. Now you can actually remove all this. There's actually another area here as well. Let me just move this to show you. I'll just move this aside first. And have a look at this part here. All, right. all these are actually screws that will actually drop off once you remove them from the uh, base of the blaster. All right, we will just put them apart. Uh, put them one side. Now, if you look at this part, this is actually the sear. The sear is actually linked uh, to a M3 nut here, so the spring actually doesn't come off. And this is actually what controls the movement of your trigger mechanism to the plunger system. All right. So if you want to spray the shell, you can actually remove all these if you like. Uh, just remember how they are placed in later. Okay. And the same goes for this side as well. Alright, so to actually remove everything, you can actually, uh, let me just show you as well. Now you can see over here, the, the uh, mag release lever can just easily come off like that. The trigger can also come off. Uh, this whole part can also come off if you want with the bottom screws. And this linear guide, you can easily just lift up the whole uh, component. Let me just show you as well. Okay, this whole part can just come off like that. As one unit. Okay? And that is actually the whole heart of your blaster. Let me just put it back in again. Alright? So for maintenance wise, you can actually clean this part uh, with your cloth. Uh, re-lubricate the inside of the chamber itself.